Hi, I'm Kojo, the Christian Tech Guy, and today, even though this is about 10 months after its launch, I'm going to be doing a review of the HTC Dot View case. Now, what makes this case really re unique is that it's a mixture of both hardware and software, as HTC uh, launched an app on the Google Play Store to go along with it. So we've seen it develop, have bugs removed, and have extra features uh, during its lifetime. So. And now outside we have a matte plastic back backing for it and with all the cutouts for the, the camera and microphone and the uh, flash etc. And then on the front it's a rubberized uh, feel, it's quite rugged I guess in a sense. And we also have a little magnet I believe just over here which is what actually um, makes the, the case interact with the phone. So let's actually uh, put, plop it in. And let's launch the app and turn it on. So, there we go, it's on. And before I actually start showing its functionality, I'm just going to show you some themes. So what you can do is, uh, that themes, some themes come on the phone, but you can also take a picture of things or uh, take a screenshot, for example, and then import those pictures into the app and make your own background so that's what I've done there and I'll show you how that looks uh, later on but let's uh, yeah, close it and for those who don't know this um, operates just like you did do with the HTC One M8 so all the just a double tap can enable it to, to launch and start up um, I've got some notifications ready to show you but essentially at the top what you get is the time you get your weather and then you get your notifications here and what you can do is just uh, with each notification just swipe across uh, to see it so that this is for gmail this is for mail this is that's for whatsapp and that's for just the text message and it goes in order of what um you, what you've received uh latest so for example i've received the gmail latest and the last latest thing after that would have been a text message um, and to interact with these, all you do is uh, press it, and to open it, you just swipe up, and to dismiss it, uh, you swipe down. So let's, for example, do that, and you open your phone, it opens up to the email that you've received. And that's how it works for um, each and every notification. But let's just swipe them away for now. And that's the background thing I was talking about, and you also get to see the last three people that you've been in contact with and you can just press on them and then you swipe up to call them or swipe down to well you don't need to swipe down but once you've made a call you can swipe down to end that call um, you can also just see your volume controls here so you have volume up you can see if you make it vibration or whether it's on silent and as you can see uh, the theme that I've made as my background is actually one of the material walls, wallpapers and that's that over there. So with some of the other themes that are available you can um, have more interaction. So for example that theme gives you the weather at the bottom um, and you can of course take a picture of things and import it in. Um, but I'll come back to one gripe I do have about the themes uh, later on. You can also choose how long uh, the after you tap the screen it actually stays on before it times out. So at the moment I've got that set at 10 seconds. You can choose what notifications you want to actually come up on the home screen. Um, so maybe for example you don't want people to uh, or you don't want messages to come through or mails because you get so many emails then you can uncheck it and it won't it will no longer come up. You can of course decide whether you want to have the three latest calls on it as well. And then you can choose whether it bypasses the security screen by just uh, flipping the cover open without having to enter in your password for example. Uh, on my handset I've got it set for, um, I, after five minutes of inactivity uh, my password will need to be entered in. So uh, when I do need to enter my password after opening the cover up. Um, then I have to do my password before it launches. But you can choose to have it uh, off um, if you want. 
And you can also use holiday themes. And what that has entailed is on certain days, such as um, Christmas Day or New Year's Day, they have get, they made specific uh, themes that would work as your wallpaper in the background. So, for example, let me show you what it had for the 1st of January. If I can go into my settings and change the date. So for example, if I change it to the first, and close it, you can see it had fireworks as the theme for that day, which is quite uh, cool. I wasn't expecting it, but it was, it was a nice little uh, theme background to have. Uh, let's get back into the app. So yeah, that's the that's sort of things from the dot view app. Now, um, I guess my main gripes, if I would have any, about the, uh, the the case is one, the rubbered kind of front gets really, uh, it, well, it shows a lot of all your marks. So if you have maybe sweaty hands or when you're talking on the phone, because uh, it leaves gaps for you to, to speak without having to have the phone open when you're using the case, um, which is really well with, for example, its ability when you receive a call just to put on your ear and it automat automatically answers the call for you um, it can actually lead to quite a bit of marks on the case as you can maybe see in the light um, from the kind of oils and it doesn't really go away too too much so if you're someone who really likes is a, a quite a clean freak then this uh, phone may not really this case may not be for you but the back um, the matte plastic back stays really well it has got a couple scratches now but um doesn't show any fingerprint marking at all and the, the case as a whole really keeps the the slim and nicer profile of the phone it doesn't add too much heft to it um as well so it's a really good case in that in that um in that in that viewpoint um my other gripe is well, so after a while you get used to it, but typing uh, one hand with this can be a little bit difficult because of how it bounces. But after a while, you after a couple of days, you get completely used to, to typing with the phone um, with one hand, just like that. And it actually makes it a little bit easier because it's quite grippy, so it doesn't easily fall out of your hands anyway. My... Um, fourth or whatever number I'm on gripe is that the themes sometimes when you do choose or you do take a picture of something can you choose it as the theme um, as a background it just doesn't come out as nice as you maybe anticipate and I think for that HTC could come up with a background or a theme app as well which could really help you to have it so that the dots actually shine through nicely um, through the case as opposed to how it is at the moment and my last concern if I could add a, a final concern is that I think from from what I've noticed um, it has quite a detrimental effect to the standby time of the battery um, so overnight I am someone who doesn't put their phone on charge overnight I leave it and I normally lose between 3 to 5% overnight. I just put it on extreme power saver mode and leave it as my alarm for the next day. But um, something I've noticed when I've left the app running is that I actually tend to lose closer to 7 to 10% overnight. Um, so I have a little concern that it does affect the standby time um, of the battery. But all in all, if you're looking for a really slim profile case, um, the little novelty factor it has and also uh, one thing I should add is that you can uh, play your music through through the case so for example if I have this playing um, well you can control sorry your music through the case it tells you the title at the, the top uh, with a swipe down you can pause it swipe back up you can play and then you can also change track by going right to left um, and this also works with other uh, media uh, content. So for example, my Chromecast, um, I can use it with the .view case and my Grace2U app whenever I'm listening to 
a sermon or a, a little Bible study through it. I can also control it uh, without having to open my phone. And that's the kind of cool factor. I remember someone in my class uh, saw me operating my phone um, with it and he was he was quite baffled, I guess, in a sense that I was controlling my phone without actually opening up my phone. And that's, um, I guess, a really cool part of it. So, I've been Kodro, the Christian Tech Guy. If you've liked this and uh, know people who also own the HTC 108, why don't you share it with them? Uh, hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content. Thank you and God bless.